As most of you know, the Hamilton Project was begun about three years ago. Our objective was to set forth, which we did in the form of a, a paper, an economic strategy for the country in the face of a period of change of truly historic proportions, transformational change. And since then, we've had a series of panels and papers and different policy areas pursuant to that strategy. We believe the United States, with its dynamic economy, its willingness to take risk, its flexibility, can do very well in today's rapidly changing global economy once we get past this presently exceedingly difficult period. But in order to realize that potential, we must meet hugely consequential challenges. And failure to meet those challenges could lead to serious secular difficulty. We also believe strongly that economic activity should be organized around markets, but that government also has a critical role to play in meeting the many needs for a successful economy that markets, by their very nature, will not provide. Today, we're going to explore the question of infrastructure. Our distinguished, paper, our distinguished authors and their papers will explore the many issues around this critical area with respect to our economy going forward. Providing infrastructure for a successful economy in areas ranging from the traditional, like bridges and water systems, to cutting edge areas like broadband. The issues that will be explored will include at least the following. What criteria should be used for evaluating alternative infrastructure investments? How can more effective use be made of existing infrastructure? How should political capital and financial resources be allocated amongst maintenance and repair? Measures to create more effective use of existing infrastructure and investment in new infrastructure? Very importantly, can infrastructure best meet the criteria for economic stimulus in terms of being immediate, being temporary, and maximizing short-term benefit for dollars expended? Or should infrastructure decisions be based on long-term criteria and only be used for, in for fiscal stimulus when they can as well meet these criteria for fiscal stimulation? with fiscal stimulus then obviously provided in other ways that best, that optimize in terms of the fiscal stimulus criteria. How can infrastructure be financed, including the possibility of more innovative financing using privatization, tolling, and other possible methods? What are the issues around financing infrastructure through a capital budget or through the sale of valuable real estate, valuable government-owned real estate whose functions can then move, be moved elsewhere? How can infrastructure be coordinated across state and regional boundaries? And finally, how should we think about expanding access when we evaluate infrastructure investment? 